Hello from the Gentleman's Academy. My name is Michael Leopold and today I'm going to show you how to tie your tie in the easiest and most stylish way. There are at least four reasons why the four in hand should be your favorite tie knot. Reason number one, it's simple, has perfect proportions and that's why it's considered to be the most stylish knot. The four-in-hand knot was used and appreciated by famous icons of style, like James Bond, Johnny Anelli, Cary Grant and the Duke of Windsor, Edward VIII. Reason number three. The four-in-hand knot is the most universal tie knot and it suits every kind of collar, if properly tied, of course. Last but not least, reason number four. It's the easiest not to learn. What does a perfect four-in-hand look like? First, it's a little bit asymmetric. But hey, who said that elegance has to be symmetric? Second, it has the right proportions. It's longer than wider. Third, the final look has a dimple just under the knot. Before I show you how to tie a four-in-hand, remember, only a quality tie will give a quality knot. What does that mean? What does a stylish tie look like? Only use silk, cotton or woolen ties. Other materials make good parachutes but not classy ties. A polyester tie results in a cheap knot around your neck. If it's too wide or too thin, it will be all out of proportion. Step 1. Learn the moves. At this stage, don't worry about the final length of your tie or other details. Just concentrate on the moves. Take the wide end and wrap it one and a half times around the thin end. Push the wide end up through the big loop behind the knot. And then pull it down through the little loop in front of your knot. Look, it's easy! You take the white end and wrap it one and a half times around the thin end. Then you push the white end up through the big loop behind the knot and then pull it down through the little loop in front of your knot. Don't worry about the right length of the tie, it will come later. Repeat the moves five times until you are sure how to do it. Step 2. Finish your knot. Remember, it's all about the knot, so don't neglect to finish your knot. Tighten your tie around your neck by pulling the thin end down and pushing the knot up. Then take the wide end in both hands and pull it down to make the knot more compact. Then tighten your tie around your neck as before. To form the right shape, squeeze your knot to gain a better natural look. To create a dimple, put a finger into the knot and squeeze the tie a little. Step 3. Get the right length. There is no magic formula regarding the right lengths to start from. One thing is sure. The best four in hand is when both ends are the same length in the end. This guarantees the right shape of the knot. Not too little, not too big. If you are average height, your tie will reach the approximate level of your belt. Don't worry if your tie is an inch higher than your belt. If you are tall, buy XL ties. If you are short, wrap your tie around two and a half times. And now, a 26 second four in hand movie.
One more tip. Do you know the best way of looking after your tie when you've taken it off? Just wrap it around your hand and put it away. This will regenerate the fibers of your tie. For more advice about the stylish look and the charming behavior of the modern gentleman, go to www.thegentlemansacademy.com. See you there!